Singapore's full-year economic forecast will not be getting an upgrade despite stronger-than-expected GDP growth in the first quarter. According to the Trade and Industry Ministry, it's due to the larger-than-usual degree of uncertainty over the pandemic, both globally and domestically. So for now, its growth outlook for 2021 will remain at 4 to 6 percent. The numbers will be reviewed again in August when there's more data and greater clarity over the COVID-19 situation. UOB economist Barnabas Gan is here to weigh in. Welcome, Barnabas. With first quarter growth coming in at 1.3%, what do you expect the figures to be like for this quarter, now given that Singapore is currently under tighter restrictions during this phase two heightened alert period? Thank you for having me on the show. Um, I think importantly, what we have seen, at least in the first quarter of 2021, uh, has been a good quarter. Uh, this is uh, really an upgrade from uh, the previous uh, advanced estimates uh, by MTI. And, 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 and really in the first quarter alone, uh, we have also seen uh, the uh, positive and more so uh, high frequency data has been constructive you know, for overall growth. And this includes uh, Nordex as well as uh, the, manufacturing, uh, the Manufacturing Purchasing uh, uh, Managers Index. But I think going forward, if uh, really accounting for the the phase two heightened alert restrictions, I think the first order negative impacts would likely be on the Singapore's retail sector. And this is especially uh, on the food and beverage industry. Uh, we, have also, uh, we, we, we do note that the capacity for retail stores have been further reduced to 10 persons per square meter uh, and, and die-ins will be disallowed during phase two. You know, uh, but I think overall, uh, what we do note is that phase two heightened alert uh, should last to until the uh, the thirteenth of June, and 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 the short period of time, uh, really about a month, uh, would unlikely dent uh, Singapore's recovery for for the whole year. So we are still keeping to our full year growth outlook at five point five percent for twenty twenty one. Right. Uh, on that, Barnabas, uh, looking at MTI's full year forecast of four to six percent. Uh, do you expect that to change? And what's your out outlook? Because you mentioned earlier for UOB, it's 5.5%. 5. 5. Well, um, the MTI has kept its official growth outlook at a range of between 4 to 6%. You know, but we do know that this is uh, a, a, a minor shift away from the previous rhetoric made by the Monetary Authority of Singapore in this previous uh, or more so in its latest uh, monetary policy statement, whereby they did say and state that GDP growth in 2021 would likely exceed the upper end of the official 4 to 6% forecast range. Um, and uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we are keeping to our growth outlook, a full year growth outlook at 5.5%. And but this is uh, really uh, notwithstanding uh, uh, the, 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 the phase two heightened alert. You know, uh, what we do also expect really is that the, the, the social restriction or the social uh, distancing measures will likely impact Singapore's construction as well as services sectors. You know, and, and, and we do note that the labor intensive clusters will likely remain the doldrums you know, given the ban of uh, all uh, non-residents with recent travel to, uh, to India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. And, and, and I think really uh, bearing an exacerbation of COVID nineteen restrictions, uh, in Singapore, you know, we do, we 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 do hope, you know, that the manufacturing sector, especially, uh, will be one of the key drivers of growth. Uh, and similarly, uh, once uh once COVID nineteen risk starts to mitigate further, uh, into the second half of uh, this year, we also do hope that, uh, and look for, uh, positive growth for both construction and services for the second half of twenty twenty one.